Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different here on my channel. I am going to be comparing two different foundations. I have seen everywhere on the internet that these two could possibly be dupes for each other. So I'm going to apply one to either side of my face and we're going to see if that's the case. So the foundations that I am comparing is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, which is new and the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Now these are two very different price points. We have a high-end foundation and a drugstore foundation, and I am just going to be seeing how similar these two really are. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off by comparing the packaging, sizing, and prices. So the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation comes with one fluid ounce, it costs $40 and it has a six month shelf life. Then you have the Milani Conceal and Perfect, which only costs $9.99. It also has one fluid ounce and it has a 12 month shelf life. So it's the same amount of product and the Milani will last twice as long, which is awesome because for me personally, I'm not going to go through an entire bottle of foundation in six months. I just own too many different kinds. They are both in a pump, which I like. You can see through the Milani um, packaging, so you can tell how much you have left. And I did just actually notice this. The Urban Decay one, because I've used it a few times now, this has moved up. So you will be able to see how much product you have left in the bottle, which I think is really cool. So now I'm going to be going in and applying um, the Urban Decay to the right side of my face and then the Milani to the left. I did go in with the Too Faced um, Hangover RX primer on both sides and I am going to be using a damp beauty sponge to apply both of them. I took one pump of the foundation and I am going to dot it all over the right side of my face. Now going in with a damp beauty blender, I am just going to blend all of that out. Right away you can see that the coverage is ridiculous. This is probably one of the most full coverage foundations I have ever personally used. So right away, you notice definitely the coverage. Um, the color on this one is going to be a little bit darker than my Milani one because I did just purchase the Urban Decay probably a month ago where the Milani I purchased back when it first came out. So I bought a lighter shade because it was a little colder outside, didn't really have much of a tan going on. But I mean, all of my redness, you can see in the comparison, all of the redness on my cheeks is like completely gone around my nose, my chin. Everything is very matte. So now I'm going to go in with the Milani on the other side. Before I go in, I just do want to compare the consistency of the two products. The Milani is way thicker than the Urban Decay one. The Urban Decay is not watery, but it definitely is more fluid-like, where the Milani one is more of a creamy consistency. I did take one pump of this one as well, and I'm just going to dot this all over my face. Going in with the Real Technique sponge and we're going to blend this out. And like I said, they are going to be two different colors, which is fine. I don't really care. Once I add all my makeup on top of it, I probably won't even notice. Going to add a little bit more product on my cheek. Okay, so now that I have both of them on... I think they have pretty pretty close to the same coverage. I can see a little bit of the pink in my cheek poking through, which, and I did go back and add a little bit more on top of that area, but they're pretty close. I would say that the Urban Decay side is way more matte than the Milani side, but it might dry down just a little bit. Um, but, I mean, this side doesn't feel tacky. No, not tacky at all. Where the Milani side definitely has a little bit of a tackiness to it. 
Now I'm actually going to go and apply the rest of my makeup and then I will come back and just compare how it went on on top of both foundations. So I am done with the rest of my makeup and being completely honest with you guys, I would say that these are a dupe for each other because they basically look the same exact way. I don't feel like there's any difference in either side of my face. The coverage was basically spot on. I mean, the Urban Decay one had a smidge more, but when your price points are so opposite, I don't think that that's the biggest deal. I did not go in and set like my whole face, so like right here doesn't have any powder on it. Here is a little, little bit tackier, but again, that's not something that would drive me crazy because it's not like super dewy and tacky, but the finish is almost exactly the same. And I think that my face doesn't look like I have two different foundations on either side. So for me personally, I would say they are a dupe. But I will also say that I do like the Urban Decay one a little bit better. Just a personal preference with formulas and everything like that. I think that the Milani one is great. Personally, don't like the thicker consistency of it. But if you're looking for the same finish the same coverage and all of that, I would say that you might not want to break the bank and maybe go get the Milani one, but that's just my opinion. I really hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!